welcome back to the Iron Man Wild Challenge with me, Iron Man Sheps. Sheppy. I actually forgot my name there for a minute. It's um, <laughs> a good start. Um, okay, so this is what the map is looking like at the minute. We're still in Dust Wallow Marsh. Um, and really, we've only cleared out kind of like this this segment here. And even then, I think we might have to go back to. I can't remember. Um, but what we're going to do, we're going to head off to. Uh, Beezle's Wreck, the Zeppelin Crash, speak with Moxie Steel Grill. I think there's some quests that follow on uh, down to wherever the Goblin Quest Hub is down here. I forget where it is exactly. Um, and then we're going to kind of work our way around and hopefully at some point have a load of quests to hand in. And um, hopefully ding level 40. Because good things happen at level 40. We can start wearing mail and get a better mount, I think. I'm not entirely sure about that though. Okay, so let's head off uh, to the Zeppelin crash. Uh, it's this way. And typically, we're going to go straight into fast forward. Okay, so here's the crashed Zeppelin. Uh, just look at this area, swarming with oozes. I don't find, if I don't find somewhere to keep them under control, they'll corrode the wreckage on the Zeppelin's cargo. I can't go back empty handed. Help me dissolve these oozes before they've digested everything. This device, when powered, will concentrate energy on the slimes, causing them to explode. The Zeppelin's fragmented power core should power the device. The one near the main crash works all the time, but the others flicker on and off. Okay. And secure the cargo. Uh, oh, hey Jesus. This Zeppelin was carrying six months worth of supplies to us at Mudsprocket. Sure, they've been able to barter for some of what they need, but they won't hold out forever. I've been sent out here to recover what I can on the cargo, but the wreckage is scattered all over the marsh in this area. Okay, so, um. Get some cargo. Attempt to zap a bubbling swamp ooze or acidic swamp ooze if you are energized. And I'm going to want to put that in, in my bar, I think. Um. A bit like that. I'm not sure whether I'm supposed to kill them. Oh, there we go. Nice and simple. The problem is with this quest is uh, I don't get XP for killing them. So that's pretty crap. But we should be able to power through these fairly quickly. There is a bit of a cooldown on that. Uh, we need to get in range first. It's a cool little effect though we have coming off our hands. It reminds me of uh, Ghostbusters. Don't know why. Right, that's enough in slow motion, let's get straight back into a high speed. What are we going to do? We're going to drag some of these. Let's put our okay. into. Seven and a half KXP, lovely. Okay, let's continue on zapping these oozes. Uh, I think we might be done actually. I think we might one more. Uh, now we're done. So the next quest is we've got to pick up the uh, the the cargo, the crushed cargo as well. Um, I just turn my ground clutter down there because it's a bit of a pain. Otherwise, we can't find these boxes. 
I generally like to play with a ground clutter hacked to the maximum. There's a little script you can run that'll push it a little bit higher than what you can say in the UI. But here, it's not so good because when you're trying to see these boxes from a distance, you just can't, basically, with too much grass. It's a bit of a hack, really. But uh, the game lets me do it, so I'm going to do it. Anyway, we've done that quest, so let's hand that back in. And uh, we're going to go, and next quest is to collect Marsh Venom for Tabitha, one of Tabitha's uh, men. And uh, the the Marsh we get from either the Noxish Shredders, the Wind Serpents, um, or the Spiders. And oh, we've just seen a new, a new rare, Hayok. Right. As far as I'm aware, he might be a unique mob in that he um one of the only white wind serpents. I could be wrong on that. But either way, he's dead now, so it's irrelevant. And also wind serpents are pretty shit as a pet. Um I don't use one at the minute unless you've got a really bad raid comp. I think it brings a special ability as a Is it spell damage increase debuff, I think? Could be wrong. But um they're pretty crap, so I'm not interested in having one. They're certainly not going to be any better than a cat. But this quest is really, really crap anyway, because uh, not only is it a drop quest, um, a drop quest with a low chance to drop the item you need, but also the item, uh, sorry, the mobs that drop them are spread all over around the central part of the zone in clumps. So, um, and you don't get many of them in each one of those little kind of spawn locations. So if you run out, you actually have to just ride for a little bit and find the next spawn location. It's a real pain in the ass. Not so bad now since we get all the um, objectives displayed on the map for us, but imagine doing this before that. It was a pain. And that's uh, kind of where Wowhead and Quest Helper and all that kind of stuff came in. Kind to show you where these bloody things would spawn. But at least we're getting XP for them. We're not getting a lot of XP because we've run out of rest XP now. So we're only getting about 170 per kill. But it's still better than the blobs where we were getting nothing. Anyway, that's that quest done. Let's empty my bags. And uh, I'm pretty close, close to dinging at this point, actually. So that's pretty cool. We've got a Grim Totem quest to do here. We're going to kill the Grim Totem guys. Uh, the Grim Totem, from what I remember, and my memory is a bit patchy on some of these kind of um, Z-list uh, lore yeah, races and whatnot. Not really that clear on them, but uh, they used to be part of some conflict that was going on in the Thousand Needles, if I remember correctly, and uh, I think they've moved from there. I'm not sure whether this is from since the Cataclysm or maybe it predates the Cataclysm, but they've moved from there and now they're causing trouble in this zone. So we've a couple of people want them dead. Uh, Tabitha does because they're encroaching on her spot. And um, I believe uh, the Ogres do as well, as we'll see, I think, in the next episode. But um, we're going to move on anyway. We've just dinged to 40. Hooray! Ah, oh, it's good to get to 40 because we, uh, we get uh, faster mount speed, we get more armour and a, a couple of new abilities. So it's uh, a good one. But we're going to hand in these quests and then um, I'm going to fly off to Orgrimmar. It's a long old trek, but we need to head there to get our riding skill. I don't... I can't think of anywhere else that we can get that. I guess maybe Thunderbluff I could have been to, to, to get it, but um, I'm not entirely sure. And I didn't want to be wasting too much time, so we're going to fly there. And uh, I've just used my hearthstone. So I can't even fly, or I can't even hearth right back, so we're going to have to fly back as well. But in the meantime, that's it for this episode. We'll see you next time when um, I'm going to upgrade my abilities and my gear and whatnot. And then head straight back to Dustwallow Marsh to get things finished up there. And hopefully... Every episode I say this, but hopefully we're going to start to see a challenge. Again, not seen one in this zone so far. Um, maybe next time. See you then.